What's up everybody, Kyle Chasen here, and welcome to the first part of the Euro 2020 simulation in Fire Pro Wrestling. And we are going to kick things off with Group A action. Uh, the matchups for this video of Group A will be Ludwig Borga representing Finland, challenging Wales' Mark Andrews, and of course the main event of this one, Cesaro vs. Van Valer, the two favourites to get out of Group A. Let's not waste time, let's get into it. Andrews and Borga kicking things off and I, I just quickly want to apologize if you do hear any background noise and uh, while this match is kicking off if you haven't already hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video let me know your group A predictions in the, com er, in the comments I do have it set to finalists so I believe that is two people out the top two from each uh, group get out and um, so yeah, as so you gotta believe whoever wins this will gain an advantage because either Cesaro or Balor will drop those points in that matchup later on. I actually, yeah, I don't know if there is time limit draws. I can't remember if I set the limit. Um. So. Yeah, um, I probably should have, um, but I can't remember if I did it. <laughs> so we'll, I guess we'll find out as this tournament holds on if we ever get a time limit draw. As Borga misses with the back screen and fist, Andrews gets hit in the rib section. And now we'll lose with Borga with that Boston crab. But Andrews able to escape. Now headlock take over by Ludwig Borga and stomping away at the midsection. Borga sent off the ropes, oh, hanging on. Plus, Reg is in order referee for this tournament. Because I, uh, didn't want, but I didn't say anyone. Because the referee didn't really matter. Yeah, and Reg is just in the game. As that's going to face off lock in by Ludwig Borga. Will Mark Andrew stop? No, he will not. Four minutes have already gone in this matchup. As I said, I can't remember if I said any limits for time limits, so time not even matter. As Borga goes to work with the punches, perfectly up to a tree down. That's it. But it's been disqualified at a five now, train chops and punches. Mark Andrews, Borga gets the better ball, man had to drop down, but Borga first back up and then one for the leg drop. Misses with that take and misses with the back fist. A suplex by Mark Andrews. Standard foot stomp. Sidewalk slam. Borga trying to regroup. Uh, regroup. And a double foot stomp. Andrews goes to work on the leg and lives with Borga. And Mark Andrews right in center doing elbow. And a front face lock by Borda. Kind of surprised by Mark Andrews' approach. He hasn't gone up top yet. Mark Andrews is a high flyer and probably expected Borda looking to make him tap. He has that submission locked in, but Andrews escapes him. It's kind of, as I said, it has been kind of thought at Borda's pace. Andrews is not looking to fly. He had himself. Oh, Spoon Dog. I believe that was uh, whoever created this Mark Andrews. I believe that was meant to be the Stumbag Millionaire. This Borga drives him in and stops. And now those mounted punches. Referee begin on his count. Heads is just by Mark Andrews. Drives him center of the ring. He's calling for something here. Off the ropes. Build a world, head scissors. And an air drag. What has Mike Andrews got to land here? Oh, big side slam. Drags center, or drags him away from the corner. Now Borga dragging him center of the ring. Is he going to look to put more elbow to the back of the head? Big suplex by Mark Andrews. 
Plus, 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 plus some one, two. Only a two count as we approach 11 minutes here. Andrews drags him to center of the ring. You know, that guy's going to go up top. But he picked him up, drags him again in position. Go up top, go again, not up and go up top. I may cost him because Borga hits a sidewalk slam. And now, Mark Andrews go behind the elbow. Back fist by Ludwig Borga. Leg drop, connect. Mark Andrews blocking the takedown attempt. Front face lock locked in, looking for a submission. That he team truck. Borga able to by his way out of the big stunner again I believe, as I said I believe that is meant to be the spun dog millionaire goes for the cover one two only a two count and again that red lock lock in and a big Frankenstein into the cover one two only a two count Still not enough done to put away Love of Borga. Borga with that game, he's not locked in there. Will Mark Andrews to submit? No, he will not. Mark Andrews for the first time shooting star, but he's in the ropes. First time Mark Andrews goes up top, first time he connects with a shooting star is now trading blows. Mark Andrews gets the advantage with the drop kick, but Borga up with the shoulder tackle and both men are down. Andrews back up to his feet first, drags him away from the ropes. Borga drops him with that punch and now stomped and elbow to the back. He will gain the advantage here as we approach 16 minutes. If we get to that 20 minute time limit, or that, oh, that reverse crunchy. If we get to that 20 minute limit or time, we will find out if I set the time limit or if I just forgot. And left it out whatever the default is as Mark Andrews goes up top to start press we might not even need to find out one, two, three. Mark Andrews puts away Ludwig Borga with the shooting star press and picks up the points here in group A. And Mark Andrews, 96% match evaluation, great match. She didn't start press into the pinfall, 17 minutes on the clock exactly. Mark Andrews puts away Ludwig Borga, giving, representing Wales, giving them the point. And no, we're not going on to be bracket. Let's move. There we go. As you can see, Mark Andrews with the two points on the board after that win over Borga. As we go into the main event for this video, the biggest clash in Group A in my opinion, Cesaro, Swiss Superman representing Switzerland of course, Finn Balor representing Ireland, will it be Balor, will it be Cesaro, the bell has rung, we are underway in this main event contest, is Balor looking for that stall and brain buster already, now Look, look, drop the hold by Balor, and that slam to the outside of the ring. And we didn't see any outside of the ring use in the earlier contest between Borg and Mandros. The referee count up to an 8, already 9. It is a 20 count here. So we are using Cesaro sent in the row, back in at 15. So let's do an early count out. You gotta be thinking Mark Andrews would love a double count out in this one because that would put him on two points ahead of everyone else in the group. Cesaro goes for Suplex, Balor out behind, sleeper hole lock in. Now going for that peak take kick, connects. Now Balor works the leg of Cesaro. Cesaro goes for that Suplex once again, stalling, and this time sends Balor to the outside and cut. Balor comes back in though, Cesaro back in, a little quick, hand mouse not able to gain control, Balor though, with the scoop slam, drags Cesaro back towards the ring, double foot stomp, 
right now. Balor sends the star into the corner. Where he connects with that big round will drop here. Upper cup. Now by Cesaro. Balor treading with four hands. Who's going to get the advantage? Here it is Cesaro with the uppercut. Covered by Cesaro. Balor kicking out. Not even at a one count. And big ball with slam by, ba er, by Cesaro on Finn Balor. And a big uppercut drops Balor dragging him. Again, center of the ring. And again, double foot stomps. Cesaro with the swing. Trying to gain early control. Swinging Balor. Again, not able to gain any advantage of it as Balor's fighting back. Dug under a hip toss. And now drags Cesaro again into center. Off the ropes. And Cesaro stalling with that gorilla press slam. And now looking for the Sharpshooter. Tribute to his former tag team partner Tyson Kidd. Balor with the snapmare. Dragon Cesaro. Drop kick. The back of the head of the Swiss Superman. And Balor again stalling. Looking for that stalling suplex, that stalling brain buster. Cesaro elbow and a running up will cut drops Balor. Cesaro slides down the back one. Only a one count. Not enough to keep Finn Balor down. And again Cesaro swinging Balor. He's swinging. And Balor straight back up. But Cesaro neutralizer. Connect the neutralizer. This is Cesaro's chance, but he cannot capitalize. He could not capitalize. He hit his finishing move. He hit the neutralizer. But just was not able to capitalize. Not able to get across for a cover in time. But he's keeping up the pressure, not allowing Balor to fight back. If he can hit another one of those, it is game over for Balor. You can't believe it, but Balor gets the cover of his own one. Two count. Caught Cesaro had it there with the neutralizer, but not able to get across for the pin. And again, for the third time, swings Finn Balor. Off the ropes. Sling blade. Sling blade by Balor. Cesaro elbow, and now looking for the sharpshooter, but I think Balor in the ropes as Red Shoes calls for the rope break. Go behind, backstabber by Finn. And now Cesaro rolling through one, two, two point nine, two point nine says referee Reggie's. As Cesaro came so close to putting away Balor and getting the two points for a bought a cold breaker by Balor. Balor setting up for something. She big drop kick sends Cesaro across the ring. <laughs> belly to belly. Sends Balor into the corner by Cesaro. Cesaro goes up top. And a big diving uppercut. Could this be it? Is Cesaro a big running uppercut? But Balor's back. And Kraden blows Balor with the forms. Cesaro with the uppercuts. Who's going to gain the advantage? Balor drop kick. Cesaro drop kick. What a contest this has been. And we're only 12 minutes in. I do have it on one. Uh, 125 speed, so it is a bit faster than actually 12 minutes. As Baller hit the coup de gras, Baller hit the coup de gras. Oh. And a big cut buster by Baller. A big German by Cesaro. Or a big belly to belly, sorry. But now, a big drop kick sends Cesaro into the corner again. Balor just stomping away at the back of the neck. Drops the elbow. Big Insigori kick. Puts his arrow rolling through. Or into the ropes. Cesaro looks for that stall and suplex. And he's calling for a swing one more time. I think this is swing number four. Balor fights back with the big kicks. And a big swing blade. Drops his arrow in the center of the ring. And a big insigori. Balor really piling on the pressure. Bosses his arrow fighting back. Multiple upward cuts. And drops uh, Balor. And a big gut range suplex. 
Well, Cesaro sent through the outside. Follow Carnet, regain his uh, Brett, trying to regroup in the center of the ring. Well, Cesaro comes back in with three vicious overcuts into a strive shooter. This has to be it. It is referee calls for the belt. Cesaro picks up the win. As Cesaro advances or er, picks up the two points in the group stages at 16.51, 97% match evaluation. Sharpshooter gets the win for Cesaro. As let me take a look at Group A's current standings. Not to start, Ben Balor wanted. Not to start, Ludwig Borg. I wanted. Oh, Cesaro. Let me just quickly hit save. As we take a look at the rankings, Cesaro, Mark Andrews, top it with two points. Balor and Borga not getting off to the best of starts. But well, that is it for part one of Group A. Uh, we'll be moving on to Group B for. Uh, the next video, which will involve Killian Dane, Miro, Walter, and Kozlov, so some hard hitting matchups. We have some great action in Group A as we kick off Euro 2020 in Fire Pro Pro Wrestling. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know what you think of this concept and who you think is going to win this tournament, or at least advance from Group A after what you've seen in this video. And I will see you in the next one.